Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to automatically include master slide layouts in your PowerPoint file exports from Figma using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up the top here, and if you search for Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and under the plugins tab, if you just click on the Pitch Deck item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here to save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on the pitch deck item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it allows you to take any of the frames, components, or instances directly on your Figma page and load those up into the plugin as slides for a presentation. Uh, and you can export that presentation to multiple formats. But for today, I'm just gonna be focusing on exporting it to PowerPoint and showing you how to create master slides uh, using Figma components to help define those. So to get started, all I'm gonna do is convert a couple of these frames that I've got on my page to Figma components. So the way that I do that is basically just by clicking on any of those in Figma, right clicking it and going down to create component. And you can see it changes it from a frame to this purple sort of color here. And I can do the same thing for this uh, intro slide as well. So I can go down to create component and now we've got two different components uh, as part of our slides. And so what we can now do is refresh our slides and you can see here while these ones are frames, uh, if we go to our first two now, you can see those have been turned into components. So we can jump to those if we want to as well. So the reason why that's important is defining these slides as components is gonna make sure that those get included as master slides when we export the presentation to PowerPoint. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So if you go to the export panel, just by clicking on the export button in the top right of the plugin, and just make sure that the PowerPoint uh, format is selected. So click on PowerPoint, and then you wanna go down to the PowerPoint settings down here and enable this setting that says create master slides from components. So I'm gonna to toggle that on. And then I'm just gonna click on the export for PowerPoint button. Uh, we don't need to compress the images for this tutorial, but you can definitely do that as well. So I'm just gonna click on export for PowerPoint. And this is gonna export all of our slides to a PowerPoint file that we can download from Figma. So once that's finished, you just have to go ahead and click on the download your PPTX file button. So click on that and just save it to your desktop or wherever you prefer. And if you open up that file just by double clicking on it, you can see here that it opens it up in PowerPoint and we've got our slides uh, as you'd expect. So these are all editable slides uh, that we can modify in PowerPoint and it's been exported directly from Figma. So the cool thing is because we enabled the master slide option, if we go up to the new slide panel up here and click on the little arrow, it's where it says insert new slide. If you click on that, you can see here, we've got a couple of uh, master slides. So we've got two master slides, which are corresponding to the two components that we just set up in Figma. So we've got the intro and the principal one uh, slides. And you can see here, when we go to add a new slide, we can add a intro master slide and also a principal one master slide. So what that allows us to do is it lets us edit that content. So this is basically getting edited, added as placeholder content. So these slides are actually empty and these are just placeholders. So it's got the text style. So we've obviously got the uh, text style uh, that was defined in the actual Figma file, but these are empty placeholders uh, with some example text taken from our Figma content here. And so what that allows us to do is it allows anyone that we've shared the presentation with to add brand new slides based on the styles and layouts that we've defined in Figma. So for example, we can add an image uh, to this placeholder here. So if we click on insert picture from file, that's gonna allow us to browse our computer for an image. So I'm just gonna add this image here and you can see that gets swapped in to our master slide. And again, we can uh, update this content here and adjust that as needed. If we wanna add different content, we can adjust that uh, width to make that fit. And then obviously you've got your uh, body content here as well. So the body content can be added there. Uh, and that's basically what that looks like. So you can obviously move this around, but what it's doing is it's providing you master frames with predefined content areas and styles for someone to easily add new slides to the presentation. Um, so there's a couple of extra things you can do here. 
the main one is that you can include these images as static images if you want to do that as well. So for example, if you wanted this master frame here to always have this image and not make it a placeholder image, uh, what you can do is you can actually lock that layer in Figma. So for example, if we lock that data photo layer and then we re-export the deck. So I'm just going to click on the export button again. I'm going to export it with the create master slides from components option still enabled. Click on export for PowerPoint again. And this time when we re-export it, uh, this image that we've just locked will be added as a static image. So if we save that now and open up this brand new file, uh, and then we add a new master slide. So if we go back to the new slide options, insert new slide and click on the intro master slide, you can see here that it's added our text content as placeholders. So we've got our uh, placeholder heading area. Uh, but you can see that the difference between this one and the other deck that we exported uh, is that the master slide doesn't have a placeholder for the image. So you can see here that the image is just static. It can't be moved. Uh, it can't be changed directly from here. You would have to go into the uh, master slide uh, edit area in PowerPoint and edit it from there. But by default, this image is gonna be static. So it's not gonna be a placeholder. All the text is, but the image won't be. So this can be handy if you've got things like uh, logos or little footer images that you wanna include in your master slides and you don't want them to be editable. Uh, all you need to do if you wanna keep those as static is just lock the layer in Figma. So lock that image layer and that will automatically be flagged to not turn that into a placeholder. So that's basically it. I just wanted to show you the fundamentals of using the Pitch Deck plugin and Figma to define uh, these component slides, which will then be used as master slides for your PowerPoint exports, as long as you've got the create master slides from components toggle enabled. Uh, you can also include these in your Keynote and Google Slide exports, but the important thing to be mindful of is that unfortunately, uh, those ones don't support the editable images at the moment. Uh, hopefully this will change in a future version, but for now, uh, they seem to use the editable versions as text, uh, even though they're meant to be images. So I would avoid using those ones uh, for the master slides if you need editable image content, but it will definitely work for the text and it will still include the images as static images. So that's just something to be mindful of. But for this tutorial, uh, just stick with PowerPoint if that's what you're using and it'll work uh, as expected, just as we looked at in this tutorial uh, together. So let's leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.